Shalom. Uh, I was listening to my brother Clint Cool, and uh, you know I'm just calling his name because you know, I'm not hiding behind anything, and also I'm not a, uh, fighting him either because you know he's a very intelligent young man, and uh, he he gives some thought provoking uh, his insights are some are thought provoking, and uh, he was on this thing about uh, the Moors. I didn't I, I went halfway. I didn't listen to all of it yet. But I will because I enjoy listening to him because like I said, he's a, a very intelligent young man. A lot of the language he used, I don't choose to use uh, cursing and all that thing because um, that's just not me. But he has the right to do that if that's what we want to do. And he was saying that, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest about it. I'm not going to hide and cover up. I'm going to tell the truth of what I believe to be the truth. And he was talking about the things about the Moors. I'm not defending the Moors, not from no uh, religious aspect. Um, and he was saying how the Moors do not, uh, let me try to get it right, how they use the scriptures to fit what they want to fit. And that does appear to be true. You know, and then uh, a lot of times they listen to the laws. And, and like I said, people are going to. Target you, target you for whatever they want to target because because you disagree. I'm not disagree. I'm, I got the right to, to tell the truth. So if the, if the truth offends and people get mad at me for telling the truth, I'd rather from get mad at me telling the truth than to get mad at me for telling a lie. So like I said, I, and I still always say that I've learned a lot of good things from the Moors, and and then also. I've learned a lot of good things from Israelites. But it goes both ways. That's why I always say you have righteous people from both sides. You have, you have those that are out there that are part of the system as far as they're in cahoots with them. That goes on both sides. Judas was a was an Israelite hanging out with the, with the master every day. But he was with the system. That's just, you don't have that. That's people, that's what people, people are, 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 are schemers, deceivers. But, let me, let me read a couple of scriptures to you before I, before I finish this. Because, you know, right now, also, um, I'm, I'm going to make this a targeted individual video. Because this is the, the, the uh, community that needs to know the truth. And, every, and anybody else is welcome to hear it. Scripture in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12 says, Prove all things, hold fast that to that which is good. So basically he's saying you can listen to everything and get the good out of what, what's being offered. So that's what I do. I'm, I'm just talking to me because I can't put that on anybody else. That's what I do. So that's what I tell you all the time. When I say more, I understand that like uh, King Dropping was saying, Mu, the original people. And then he also said that, uh, you know, how can we be uh, Native Americans, or, you know, that's the term that King Cool used. And he said a lot of things he don't understand. It's a lot of things I didn't, I don't understand. But that's why I listen to all things so I can understand. And the fact of the matter is, the so-called African American, who they call Moors, who they call Israelites, also, you know, uh, Israel Hill, you know, they have different clues, Ebos, uh, the, the slave Ebos, but we weren't slaves. That only happened under uh, subjugation. We were a royal priesthood, a royal bloodline through King David and, and on, on down. So, and then, and then like I said, there, there are Moors. And, and, they, and if I'm lying, they can put me in, they can, they can say I'm lying, because I'm not trying to lie. A lot of, most of the ones I hear say they use the, the Bible as a, uh, they're going to use the Bible to basically, um, what's the term they say? To condemn those. So are they saying they're going to condemn the Israelites? Because that's who the Bible belonged to, not Christianity. So I'm just making a point. So, but like I said, I listen to them. I don't listen to them to go get no salvation in from Yah. Because they don't believe in that, in the Yah. So I'm not going to them to try to find uh, 
spirituality from that standpoint. When I listen to the Moors, I listen to them what they for what they provide. They provide the truth of the law of the land. So when I prove all things, I'm holding on to that that that's good. They provide some good information. When I listen to Israelites, I hold on to that which is good. But I'm not a part of no Israelite uh, movement that's going to be a part of the system as far as um, another part, another branch of Catholicism. So, and it also let it be on, on, on the record a lot of times, since this is a targeted individual video, uh, you know, just for you know, uh, education purposes. A lot of these YouTube channels are provide good information, but also consider that most things you watch, these targeted individuals have have uh, are, are these gang stalkers. They have ability to uh, produce channels f just designed specifically for you. So they're in their houses. You know, I'm not saying some of the videos are not, are not real, but sometimes they have people. That will make videos based on what they know you talk about. So you can talk about it and they can use it against you. Because they know you have a point of view. So they can say, okay, he believe in this, he believe in that. And you try, hey man, targeted, the targeted program is to target you. So if I'm going to be targeted, I'm going to be targeted for telling the truth. I ain't going to be targeted for lying. So, like I said, Quinn Cool, you know, I don't know, I, you know, he, he he may be a true targeted individual. I don't know him, but he 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 make he has some uh, interesting videos, and I watch them. And then, like I said, when I I says I know better, I do better. I never joined a Moorish temple, a Moorish science. I never joined none of that stuff. And then when I did use their paperwork, that's because they said that. Uh, they're um, for the indigenous people. And then I also gave the notification. I said, well, if they're not for, they're truly not for the, the indigenous people and they're actually a deceivers, uh, I gave in my, my notice of uh, cease and desist and, and uh, even with that. And rescinded my signature from their paperwork. If they're fraudulent, I don't know if they are or not. But I never joined them, as far as, you know, you join this group. I never joined no Morris group, Morris organization. Everything I told you I do is by bloodline. And the only reason I uh, accepted even the Moor, because the Moor, is from that standpoint, is Ruth was a Moabite. I'm not a Moabite. I'm an Israelite. But I have Ruth blood running through me, just like I have Ruth and Boaz blood running in my, blood, my, my veins. Then, like I said, I always said that if I was a Moor, I was an M-U-U-R, Moo. And then, and even through their acknowledgement, they say, okay, since you're indigenous, they accepted M-U-U-Rs, Israelites, all being indigenous. So I never changed who I am. When I said Washita, I was talking about the Mu. I never, I never said I was a part of a uh, incorporated group, an organization. And then I always say, even the incorpor the corporation, from the standpoint, if it does right, it can be good. We all go to the grocery store. We all go to. Uh, Eventually, we sometime went to a football game or a soccer game or, or, or whatever you do. That's all provided by the corporation. But the subjugation, the hypothecation, uh, the subrogation, the person nation, all those things has already been declared by, I always say, by their, um, their, their uh, boss, executive, their chief. Who told them to, to stop doing all these things. Now is he a saint? 
And a lot of people uh, tie them into the beast through the scripture. On a personal level, though, I don't know. But the scripture is the truth. And then even by their own acknowledgement, they said the, it was by necessity that they uh, bring out this truth. That all debt is paid. According, and, and even that's even according by the Constitution, it says in Article 6. And how did I learn how, how do I learn about Article 6 and Article uh, 4, Section 1? The Moors? I would I wouldn't never knew about this stuff unless it was through them. Once again, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Yeah, I I, I know their point of view. I don't worship the boss a boffin man, I don't worship planets, I don't worship women. And things like of that nature. Am I down in women? No. But I don't worship them. They're not a God. Because I've seen, just like I've seen men make say do things, I've seen women that runs astray. Because women have a competitive nature. That's based on uh, experience. That, that's why I said if you're going to listen to, I listened to a, one, a young woman yesterday on YouTube and she was breaking down some things in the law of the word that I had not even considered. She, But she's led by the spirit. I can listen to her. But I can't listen to all women because some women are had uh, 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 caused some problems you listening to them just like some men would but no, I'm just using that for example hey you all up in the club or something now that's against the now that's against the most high you gonna listen to that then talking about the, uh, the, the uh, are we the man there's so much proof that the, the things that they talked about over there is really over here in this land. And, and, and how things have been done in reverse. The word is true. The word of the Most High is true. But most of the things that happened is over, was over here. They got so many brothers that's breaking that down right now. Yeah, you still have uh, Israelites over there in what they call Africa. But remember, this was one landmass at one time. But over here, they say the pyramids are older than the ones over there. So who built those? The copper color people that was found here by the Europeans. And everything I'm saying is, is verifiable, it's true, but I'm not just making up stuff. So if you're going to get mad at me for speaking things that I've learned that are true, because I, I can't claim that I had known these things all along, so that I would be a liar. But I'm speaking on things that I found to be true. And then people are always saying, well, we're going to be in the curses, into the curses. Did you also read in, in uh, Deuteronomy 28? You don't always have to be in the curses. They don't read this part though. Blessings for obedience. That's, that's why they broke it down. But I'm just going to read this. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28. This is 1. If you fully obey your, uh, Yah, your Elo, and carefully follow his comments, commands I give you today, Yah, your Elo, will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And then they say this is the awakening. What are he awakening you for? He awakening you to be un awakening you unto the curses, or he awakening you unto the blessings, unto the salvation. People stuck on the curses. Yah is not cursed, and his people not cursed. You only cursed when you don't, when you when you want you when you continue to live in sin when you continue to do those things his word is true and it's balanced 
So if, if he said you were cursed, but now he's awakening you into the blessing. That's what the awakening is about. So you can be coming to your who you are, coming to your purpose. And the purpose of, of what he said of Judah, of Israel, Judah, he said you should be um, an exact one to the Gentiles. And they also say, if my people were called by my name to humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, then when I hear from heaven, and I will heal their land. And then he says, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, the crops of your land and your young and your livestock, the cows, the herd and the lambs of your, your flocks. Your basket and your kneading. Fruit will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. And, and Yah will grant uh, that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction and flee from you in seven. And it goes on and down. So why are people always still saying, oh, because it's the curses. You're cursing yourself. If he's awakening you into righteousness to, to keep the laws and commandments, why is he doing that to keep you cursed? And some people want to hold on to the concept of Africa. Oh, well, you know, you said we're going to go to our own land. Man, it's all our land. I'm talking about court. Because it, why? Why is that? He said, for the whole earth is mine. And Israel is my inheritance. So what does an inheritance give you? Everything that belongs to his father. He still belongs to the father because he is the 